I could probably use your help. Probably? Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Deep breaths, Pan Am. Tell me what's going on. Do you remember Saul? The leader of the clan I left? Yeah, yeah. I had a fallen out or something. Doesn't matter right now. He... They nabbed him. This is just not suitable for a call, V. Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? Thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. delicate matter handled. We think you could help. Mind my asking who your husband is? Actually, who are you? I'd rather not discuss details over the phone. Please, meet with us. We'll explain everything. As I said, it's a rather delicate matter. What's so delicate about the matter? I'd rather discuss that in person, if you don't mind. Can we meet? Sure, let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. Step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales. Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. So. What do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Ryan recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. It was all over the news. Of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did. Yes. As far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack at City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. 
These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. What makes you think the cops got it wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today. Or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. All right. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference. And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Out of practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any inner synapse zaps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting off with their heads. You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue.
They left literally seconds before the attack. And it looks planned, like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. The terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Yeah, glitch was no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? No, nah, but it could have. city with what he was packing probably what happened body disappeared from the morgue sight unseen and then some pig got himself a new set of wheels in an ugly ass suit know that we're just talking out your ass again once you've seen all i've seen don't need to know things to know them people are the same everywhere okay it's coming out your ass thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Whole thing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Ray Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy. And his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. The conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. As far as I recall... The drop in Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. <laughs> Sorry, drop. Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. Huh, <laughs> clever. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him, I'll put you in touch. Mayor's Hustle, the NCPD? No. All handpicked by Holt. And on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. 
Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Rhine. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Listen, I know you tried to warn Rhine about the cyber psycho. What else do you know? Now nah, that you best meet with me. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, stat. Someone here to see you, looks like. Oh, wonder what about? Wanted to talk. You got a minute? You must be V. My partner, Detective Hahn. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to meet. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. Don't make him say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice, as your friend. Just let the case go. See me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl, anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. I see Detective Hahn's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Hahn's not a fan of anybody. Except his daughter. You wanted to talk? Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info, dude. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Liz Perales hired me. And her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. <laughs> Guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure.
Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyberpsycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because well, you got a good heart. Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Nah. Just not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. And before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the Hush Hush? Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first. <laughs> who would? As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? No, but even if he's not, a murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. <laughs> Sorry, we? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where to first? Let's go see his boss first. The guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psychomuting meds, too. We better check it out. Okay. Good 90% of any detective's job is talking. And the other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. So, who are we supposed to talk to? CyberPsycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. 
Come on, B. idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. Christine Markov, know her? Has a stall here. I don't know any Christine. This isn't BD Heads Anonymous. You Christine Markov? No, but I know who she is. Stand with the over on the other side. Christine Markov. Hmm? No, she's over there. Stall the tank. Okay, yeah. Thanks. You Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Pater Horvath. Worked here, apparently. Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. When the weird behavior actually start? Look, when you're talking about Pedo, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. We're about to make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where do you get the eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AB, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Paid to show up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his irates. These, uh, speeches. What did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why did he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw it, who else had it in for him? Besides Ryan? A uh, Madame President, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was a son's turn. Would that be all, Detective? You're spooking my clientele. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. <laughs> Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Hey, gentlemen, gentlemen, chill. Please. <laughs> Jump, clown. Jump! Let's get this party started!
told you I'd handle it. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? <sighs> Gotta report this. I'll talk to my CI about your club, Red Queen's Race. Assuming you're still on board. You kidding? First, I gotta clean up the mess you made. We'll meet there. Hey, what's up? Not anymore. Experience all of Crow Manticore's 16 new flavor and make it up. Nikura! How's Biz treating you? Yeah, not so kindly. I mean, there's no shortage of customers, but someone's always harassing me. You know, Jesus freaks or people from the mayor's office offends public decency. Crazy, right? You can tell guns on every corner and nobody bats an eyelid. But put up a stall with vibrators and all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Wanna get something? Something... Out with it, don't be shy. guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. Who is this guy? The proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. He's your CI. He doesn't know me. Well, uh... 
Last we met, it didn't go so well. For him. People he ratted out got wind of it. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. At least voluntarily. All right, wait here then. The Crystal Palace, feel alive. You looking for uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Igor says hi. Fuck no! Said I was done. I was out. Got a problem? Leave me the fuck alone. Hey, Neil. Piss off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Red Queen's race. Give us the address, we're gone. Heard that already last time. Then those motherfuckers showed, broke all my fingers. Wasn't here then. Now I am. I'll make sure nothing happens to you. Anyone asks, we'll say we got the address off a body we fished out of the bay. Ugh, fine. It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries. Goods. Sometimes peeps. We got no idea why you want to go poking around there. Club's empty. They shut it all down. Shut it down. Before or after Mayor Ryan died? Uh, soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. My shit luck! Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. I'm headed straight for Benita Street. Coming with? Sure. Thanks.
Come on, Ree. This is animal turf. I can see that. Lock up any of theirs recently? Not lately, no. But they're not big fans of pigs, either. I can't go in without a warrant. But you... Uh-huh. All right. Be in touch. You find anything, tell me.
looks like a normal body shop to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. Telling me you got a hunch? Cop intuition? Something like that.
stairs inside. <laughs> Clever. Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one.
Looks like an office. Sort of. What? Comps are what we want. Comps above all. Lucius Rhine, recently deceased mayor of Night City. He was here the night he died. Maybe he was? Maybe he wasn't. No fucking idea. But hey, you might be here in the day you die. Joking. Joking. Why are you watching this dump? Nothing left to clip here. We ain't watching it. We're fucking waiting! For what? Till they send us the scratch for a job well done! Smash it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? 
We done our bit! Time for the pay up! I'll pay you. You get half of what you were promised, I get the intel I need. Half? For half, I can tell you how tall he is, but uh, that's sure. it. Sure. Half in your hand right now. Real scratch. Or the whole thing, someday, maybe. But probably never. Uh, uh, all right. Scratch. Now. Who told you to wreck the club? And why? Welding. Oh. Lucius Ryan's right-hand bull terrier? Candidate for mayor in the upcoming election. Right fuck it for the job! Thanks for the help. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma card. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. Uh, a club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. River, found some footage. You're gonna want to see this. Sending it your way. Your chum covered up the true circumstances of Ryan's death. My chum? You mean Han? Yeah, him. You didn't know? Not a thing? Shit. No, no, I can't. Get out of there, V. I'm gonna ping him. Tell him to meet at Chubby Buffaloes. And we're going straight there. Okay, hang on. Be there in a sec.
still hanging around with this punk? Shut it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just want to know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational, idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. Not from here. Came from nowhere. Ah, Nomad. See, the NCPD? That's my family. That's my clan. You just don't break with your family. You don't turn your back on your people. Bull fucking shit, Ann. Fraternity of cops resembles a clan not at all. Loyalty. A blood bond. Serving an ideal greater than the individual. Need I go on? V. Appreciate the help. But this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Fuck. <sighs> so, what now? Won't let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Also think it was Holt. Only one who stood to gain. Chicken this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. Thanks. Just gonna tell you one thing. Probably gonna be more than one. <laughs> but all right. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful.
I'm always careful. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. It's not 100% clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is. But? Yeah, I got some idea. I think Weldon Holt was behind Ryan's death. I knew it! You got any proof? I don't. Just, uh, strong suspicions. That's all we need to know, Jeff. We have to be careful. Keep a close eye on Holt. And up our security. You're right. As always, you're right. Thanks for your help, Fee. Your Fee. You two watch out for each other. Where did we leave off? Careful, please. Right. River. V, hey, I need your help. Sounds like it. What happened? I shouldn't talk about this on the hollow. We gotta meet. When and where? Tell me. Glenn, tonight. I'll flick you the details. Will you make it? Do my best. Thanks, V. Till then.
Well, this is the place. Tick, 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 tick. Hey, V. How you holding up? Been better. I know. Probably not hard to tell. Nice ride. Brand new? Nope. Not in a chatty mood, I see. Not really. Sorry. So, what happened? Needed someone to talk to. Uh-huh. First, take a look. Hello, my name is Arif Iqbal, and this is WNS News. Today's story. A routine roadside inspection led the NCPD to the trail of a dangerous abductor and murderer. The incident occurred at the intersection of 7th and 15th Avenue. The following police footage was captured at the scene. 1038, I repeat at 1038. Registration 2AA6244. We're exiting our vehicle now. Copy that. Out of the car. Hands up. Easy, officer. Relax. Shut your mouth. Oh, shit. Uh, we have a 1053 and a 1054. I repeat, a 1053 and a 1054. The boy from the footage is Lavar Martinez, age 17. His parents reported his disappearance over a month ago. Unfortunately, Lavar's life could not be saved. His body could not withstand the severe septic shock he saw. Autopsy reports reveal the teenager was given dangerously high levels of hormones, anabolic steroids, and stimulants. The possessions and genetic material of seven other missing teens were also found in the car, belonging to one Anthony Harris. Unfortunately, their fates remain unknown. Although the criminal widely known as Peter Pan survived the gunshot, he has not regained consciousness, making interrogation impossible. Please stay tuned to WNS News for development. This, uh, Peter Pan. He in O-Case? You were looking for him? Never heard of him. Didn't cross my desk. What's the problem if they caught the guy? My nephew, Randy. Disappeared not long past. And what you just saw? The kid was wearing Randy's shoes. Ah, oh, Jesus. Randy's disappearance. You know anything else? My sister and I don't get along that well. Uh, I don't know much. Just wish I could have been there for her when she needed it most. And what, they figured you'd get emotional and kept you off the case? More like a restraining order. Won't let me anywhere near it. Gonagal took the lead on it. Lazy ass gonk. And so far, he ain't accomplished shit. No way I'd let this lie. I know. And that's why I'm asking for your help. So what do we need to do? Can't interrogate the guy because he's a veg, but... We can view his dreams. I'm sorry, dreams? You heard me. Come on, I'll explain on the way. It's an experimental procedure, but it's already yielding results. They record dreams that can be played back as BDs. You got access to these? Dreams? Not yet. But they keep them in the lab we're headed to now. Okay. Got an appointment? Not exactly. We'll go in together, but, uh, not through the main entrance. <gasps> We're gonna break the law? We'll find a different way in, and then hustle out quick. Never actually been here, so I'll need your help.
What now? We find our entrance. They have an audit today. Should be a ghost town. No need to be quiet. How'd you know about the audit? I did my homework. Know where they're keeping the BD? Likely the room where they edit the autistic kids' dreams. Should be labeled as Anthony Harris. A few of these rooms we probably don't have to bother with. Got some kind of shard, but it's blank. Keep looking.
Hey, River. I think I got it. Found something? Not yet. Anthony Harris. Let's try these drawers. Say, River, why not just have a janitor crack a door for you? Can't risk getting scolded for sniffing around somebody else's River. case. Yoan! What are you doing here? You got kicked off the force! Just suspended, actually. And who might you be? I'm calling the actual police. Oh, wait, wait, wait here. Hear me out, please. Seriously, River? You weren't in enough trouble already? Harris kidnapped my nephew. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But we store evidence here. And we have strict protocols. Protocols? Talking about his nephew's life here. A child's life. This is an ongoing police investigation. Go, please. Get out now! Listen, you work with badges, right? You know what they're like. Feed them analysis, they'll shit out failure. This type of thinking is the very reason we live in a lawless city. Lawless? Remember your first med school exam? You know the one. Passed it with flying colors. Gotta remember it. Ladies' room erupted in flame. They evacuated everybody for two hours. I cannot believe you would throw that in my face. I never wish to see you here again. Especially you. You don't know him well, do you? This man is a bastard. River and I get along. We're friends. Hasn't let me down yet. Huh. I thought us friends, too. Is that why you're refusing to help him out? Harris is dream beady. Where is it? He isn't dreaming. What? Why? A bullet damaged his cerebral cortex. We get only dissonant urges. Pieces. Oh, okay. Good talk. Looks like a dead end, River. I'm sorry. Audio visual stimulation. That's what we gotta try. But he isn't on the spectrum. A favorite song or movie helps you reach the kids. Might be worth a try. I am aware of the similarity. Hypothalamus stimulation and hormone production. But Harris is not a child. I have never tried the procedure on an adult. Any reason you haven't? Because, unlike River, I went to med school and studied neuroscience. And not by reading about it over someone's shoulder on the metro. Let's try it. We don't even know his preferences. I'll find something. I mean you're willing to try? Just... go. I'll open the front door for you. Let's ride, V. I know exactly where to start. Say, by the way, what do you know about biochips? Arasaka's relic in particular. Well, it's designed to store a person's neural engram. Uh, sorry. Just imagine copying over a person's memories and personality. Right, I get that. More curious what happens if the stored engram overwrites the engrams of the chip carrier. Overwrites? I... I'm not even sure that's possible. Why do you ask? Nah, never mind. Not a big deal. Thanks.
Okay. Let me hear it. So, got booted off the force. Uh, suspended. Mayor's death stank to high heaven. Inquest into, kicked under the rug. So, I made a fuss. Not worth asking how you feel about that. Nope. It's just, uh... It's not easy for me to talk about what's biting at my ass. Fair enough. Could tell me where we're headed, though. To Joss's. Randy's mom. She thinks he just ran away from home. For now, keep the kidnapping between us. Tell me about Randy. What kind of kid he is. Petty theft, drugs, running away from home. That kind. Cop uncles really see the best in you. There are people who always find their way into trouble. Randy's one of them. Where's Randy's dad? Been a few years since he got popped. Gang war. Hmm, great role model. Josh was left alone with three. <laughs> but she's as tough as weathered leather. You gonna tell me why we aren't trying to find Harris's apartment? Well, it's a house. I doubt he's keeping his victims in his basement. And besides, we are trying. Wanna see if we can find some connection to Harris at Randy's. Pretty weak lead. Best we can hope for just now. You think y'all want to actually help us? All things considered? Yeah. These tiffs of ours always end up the same way. I'll tell you about it over a beer sometime. Sign me up. We find Randy, then we find the bottoms of a few bottles. It'll be my pleasure. Is it? Sure been a while. We used to come over every weekend. A long time ago. And? Changed it all since? Places like this never change. Lovely neighborhood. Mm -hmm.
river. You either do business with me or news about my Randy. Wouldn't drag your butt out here if you didn't. You either got business with me or news about my Randy. Wouldn't drag your butt out here if you didn't. Joss, me V. So V, is this about my Randy? Randy's been taken. Why didn't you call? Joss, I... Uh... Throw a blanket over the truth, like always. Police caught the guy, but he caught a bullet and he's in a coma, being watched. But where's Randy? We're looking, Joss. Here? Arguing's not gonna help anyone. He's my child. You got no place telling me how to behave. Joss. Listen, we need to look through Randy's things. Why? To find any lead we can. Trust me, Joss. Just don't destroy anything. Randy doesn't like it when anyone pokes through his stuff. Let's go, V. The kids are playing outside. Tell them it's time to eat. Can't be easy. Can't be easy raising three kids on your own. Well, it wasn't any easier with my husband. In fact, the best days were when he didn't come home. There were times I wished he'd disappear for a month, just to not have him hang around. That bad, huh? His bike in the highway. That was his world. But at home... Let me tell you a story. This one time he took Dorian into the city. Had some errand to run, just father and son. He came back that night, dead-ass drunk. Raging at me for calling the cops on him. Did you? River found him in some dive and brought Dorian home. Must have been a relief then, when he left. For weeks, I cried every night. My husband was killed. The father of my children. Um... I'm sorry. Randy changed. He locked up. Not to mention the other two I still had to raise. Life was rough with him and without him. Sometimes there's no solution. How'd he die? Thale de Caldos told me he died an honorable death. Whatever the hell that means. They showed me his body, where his face used to be. Couldn't see the honor in that. Let's, um, change the subject. Hang in there, Joss. What's on your mind? Think it's good she learned the truth. That's the trailer. Eyes peeled for details, eh? Uncle River! Monique! Dorian. Hey, guys. Is this your partner? Just a friend. You gonna stay over? We'll see. Your mom's waiting for you at dinner. This 
is their old trailer. Randy moved in when I bought him a new one. Real hellhole. Like in my good old days. You check around, I'll check the trash. Got some kind of key here. Real fossil. Not quite what we're looking for, no. Let's not go there. Hmm. Society's fault. Tainted Overlord. Favorite band. You know him well. He used to send him an album every year for his B-Day. Jeez. Can still see the Knicks from those first years we measured the kids. Left his favorite hoodie in the closet. Some kind of game here. Shipping code on it. Expensive tech. Randy had the scratch for this? You're joking. No chance Randy could afford hardware like this. Way too pricey. We gotta get in. But I doubt anyone knows the password. Can you crack it? Let me give it a shot. Eureka. Help me scour this, will you? They caught Harris in a vehicle like that. Blockaded street. Shit, River. I remember that day. He lives close to an old school. True angel of empathy, this guy, huh?
Figured out Randy's identity. Sent him the game as a present. The one you found in his drawer? The same. Shipping code suggests the prick sent it from the Badlands. This guy baited Randy like a pro. River, do you... Are you seeing what I'm seeing? No. There's no way. Why would he do that? Not only did they agree to meet, but it looks like Randy was as excited as any kid on his way to a theme park. The fuck? This creep definitely scrambled Randy's head. Natalie must have been the only person Randy trusted. Can we view this page with a link? Something deeply fucked about that cartoon. My skin's crawling. Some kind of link. The one Randy wrote about? Let's find out.
hidden page set up by Anthony Harris. Christ. I'm gonna be sick. There was a file here. Deleted, looks like. But the name's still there. That name? Wasn't the video file on Randy's comp called something like that? Hey look. The name of this cartoon matches the missing file on Harris's page. That's what we needed to find for Yawin. V, we've got it. Randy must have downloaded it. Sure, but V, don't you get it? This could be the key to Harris's mind. Here's hoping. Hey, uh, can you use any of that Netrunner magic to shake anything else out of this? Could try to pin Anthony's IP address. Got it. Freddy can't do much more, though. Perfect. That cartoon, River. Could be what we've been looking for. You said yourself we needed something to get Harris to dream. Send it to Yawin. Right. Sending it now. Okay. Says she'll get back to me by morning. And that I am a son of a bitch. And, uh, uh, Come on. Let's grab a bite. Not worry Joss more than we need to, huh? We're hot on the trail. We'll know more tomorrow. That's it. Joss? Dorian, I'm finished. Please. All done. Off to bed, then. We left some for you, Uncle River. Thanks, Monique. Tell me you found something. Looks like Randy knew his kidnapper. They were in touch. Why would he do something like that? You know him, kids. Look for help in the wrong places. When's the last time you ate? Yesterday. Have mine. I'm not hungry. Thanks. Maybe later. Now you? No bullshit. Don't look at my brother, just tell me. Will you find my boy? River's a hell of an investigator. Randy's as good as found. Won't give up until I do, Joss. Joss, you mind if he takes Randy's trailer for the night? No. Sure. Stay in, right? You gotta help me see this through. To the end. Of course I'll stay. Find your way all right? Yup. Gonna hit the sack soon. Can't be easy raising three kids on your own. Well, it wasn't it. In fact, there were times...
V, wake up. <sighs> Not done sleeping. Yawin called. It worked. The cartoon. He's dreaming. You, you got the BD? Right here. Slot it in. Jack into the computer. I want to see it on the monitor. That dog of yours is quick, not bad. What's the matter with you, Anthony? I have to report this. I hope you understand that. This isn't normal behavior. Anthony. You killed Liam's turtle. He was sick. He wouldn't eat, stayed in his shell. I just wanted to help him. By injecting him with HGH? What were you thinking? Is this something your father taught you? Good people took you in, extended their trust. This is how you repay them? Your friend died. I understand, but that is no excuse. Fuck you. What did you just say? Okay, I've had enough. The principal's gonna hear about this. Your foster parents, too. I see. Like father, like son. Failed. Dad put a bullet in his head. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You can't talk about my dad, you... you prick! You... you can't! You... you can't! He... he was sick! Weak! I just wanted to help him. this shooting. It was a case study back at the academy. Give me a sec to check which school that was. Laguna Bend. Uh, looks like the whole town got flooded in the 50s. Well, at least we know the general area where Harris lived. Guess that'd be that. Trophy, old one, dated from 2042. First place in an interscholastic wrestling tournament.
What's the matter with you, Anthony? I don't know what this is. I don't understand that. Tell me, and Liam's turtle. He said he might eat Sam's shell. I just want to eat him. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? something? I asked you a question! I... I don't know. Choline, I'm at thy nine levels. See anything odd? Um... Too low? You were supposed to check before school. What do you gotta say for yourself? Cow's gonna die because of you. Gotta kill it like you killed your mama. I... I'm sorry. Don't apologize, just dial up her hormones. And shut off that goddamn cartoon! How many times I gotta tell you not to leave it like that, hmm? Half the day I spent trying to turn that shit off. our cartoon. Little Tony really seemed to love it. Guess that'd be that. Harris looks even younger here. Looks like a cattle bioscanner. It's for checking vitals. Cattle injectors for hormones, antibiotics. People ate meat loaded with this shit. Supplements in the feed for disease-free livestock.
Where are you up to, Mike? Come here, you rascal. You'll hurt yourself. Tony will take good care of you. Easy now. I think this might be the place, V. It's a recent memory. Gotta be his hideout. Got some cables. Got a clock, an hour to midnight. <sighs> Looks like Peter Pan turned this farm into a goddamn final bastion. You must have been an auto shop or something here at some point. Me. He treats the kidnapped boys like cattle. Hearing what I'm hearing? Trash barge. That's the signal to dump. Has to be a landfill nearby. Look, another one. The machine controls an injection system for stimulants, hormones, something. Fire 
Fire Department search stamp right here. City South. Perfect. Don't see Randy anywhere. The terminal controls the pens. Gotta be another deck somewhere for the mines and turrets. Signage on the farm model points to Petro Can. Hey, the Illuminated Towers. Promoting the Us Cracks album that came out then. Colors changed every hour. I think that might be it. So sure, River. Okay, so where do we sit now exactly? We know Harris still lives near an old school that's now underwater. You can see the NC skyline and the Us Cracks towers from the farm. It's a few miles out. Farms located near a landfill. We know that too. Shipping code on the game Randy got from Harris traces out to the Badlands. Harris's IP places him outside Night City, within a radius of a dozen miles or so. Those towers promoting the Us Cracks album. Colors change regularly, once an hour. So we know the time. Eleven at night. Right. And that puts the farm east of the city. Southeast, actually. Stamp on the NCFD certificate was from the southern region. Farm models a petrochem design, so that eliminates any others. Which narrows it down to Edgewood Farm. That's gotta be our place. So, we've got it. Just hope we didn't fuck it up. Come on, we gotta go. two days than the NCPD accomplished in weeks. Not hard to do, but yeah, you're right. Thanks, V. For everything. We'll find him, River. <sighs> if I'd only known sooner how he felt. What was eating at him? This isn't your fault. I'm his uncle, V. And I wasn't there for him. Fuck!
grab something. River, this is the farm. We got it. I know. Let's get to the barn quick.
needs us now, you forget that? There we go. Come here, quick! Machine. Can't unlink Randy otherwise. Randy. 1052. I repeat, I've got a 1052 at a farm south of the city. Yes, send the fucking squad! Yeah, we're laying coordinates now. No, several at least. Do it quick, damn it! No, oh, and watch for automated defenses on site. They're substantial. Hurry, we gotta shut it off. Okay, all disconnected. Right. Live. Whoa, whoa, easy there, easy now. Hey, you're all right now. Been dead a few days already. Here to help. You're a bit dehydrated, but you're gonna be fine. Help me with Brandy. Need to loosen this. Help me.
did it, River. Yep. We sure did. But I'm not about to leave it like this. The horror that bastard inflicted. Can't let it go. He's in a coma. In police custody. He's not getting away with anything. He's still alive. So in a sense, he is getting away with it. Not for long, though. I'm gonna squeeze the life out of him with my bare hands. Refer, come on, man. It won't change anything. Anthony Harris is a sad sack of meat, hooked up to a respirator now. For how long? He has to die. It's the only way I'll be sure. Stop. Gonna throw your life away getting revenge on a brain-dead vegetable? No, I don't know. Maybe you're right. But it's driving me crazy not doing anything. Actually, got quite a bit you can do, River. Joss, Randy, the kids. They're gonna need you now. More than ever. Yeah. No, you're right. Forget about Harris. Take one day at a time, but rest first. Once your head's on straight again, give me a hollow. We'll talk. Yeah, need a little time to myself now. But then I'll call you. I will. Hey, we're ready for evac. Are you riding along or not? Really, V. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. No problem. Hey, don't be a stranger. Poor boys. All your years ever seen anything like this? Eight years in the Force. Nothing comes close. Beyond twisted. Take long. Oh, hey. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Glad you're here. I need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat? Um, soy meat? Okay. This an ancient ward family secret? Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. I just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. <laughs> I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better. How's, uh, Randy holding up? He's looking for his old self. Physically, though, it'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And, uh, mentally? That was some experience. What Harris did to him, fucked as this might sound, might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but feels like a clean break for him. Honestly? 
thought you were kidding about the cook-off. Where the Joss had sweat away in the kitchen while... How? Joss doesn't know the first thing about cooking. Actually, I like to torture foodstuffs. <laughs> Haven't had many opportunities lately. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but... I gotta ask, what about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure, no pressure. It's just I, uh... You know. I know. All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told him. But he always got the same speech back. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly fit the mold. That's Maddie, nice. In those words, yeah. Wanted to tear my hair out every time I heard him. And when can I visit again? Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Thanks Patio. so, so much. You've been wonderful. Huge help. Mm -hmm. Yes, talk again soon. Grab a chair. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah, seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. He's still in a coma? Yep. In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River? How my parents died. Now, oh, you sure you want to hear this? What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad to where he hid the money. River, you don't gotta go on. Heard sob stories enough? No, just... This is tough, I can tell. You really don't need to rehash it now. Okay, yeah. You're probably right. Just... Harris, what did you do? Had the gun to his head, and... I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But what now? You're not going back to the PD. P.I. has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle we'll River, see. you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. Me? Join us? What are we going to play, Uncle River? You'll see. Well, 
What do you think? Always wanted to try a game like this. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Who? Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. And they're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah, me too. Ooh, I've heard of cops like you. The lone wolf type. That's right. Thorns in their commander's side. Rebels who play by their own rules. I've been suspended one time. Retired two times. And kicked off the force three times. I'm getting too old for this. But something always drags you back. The city needs me. Got a crash course? Anything I ought to know? The entire city is sick with crime and corruption. Lawlessness rules the streets. And we're no saints either. Even the police are haunted by the sins of their past. But the city's without hope. No one else would ever dare face El Chamuco and Diablan. Oh, he's the worst. But I know we can beat him. The city's most evilest mastermind ever. All right, let's get to it. Right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco and Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids, but we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. Evie, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. Watch out! It's his cronies! Not half bad. Is that all you got? Nuh-uh! Watch this! from a mile off.
but it's not over yet. Some last words? Fine. Out with it, scumbag. I want to see you squirm. No. Your last words. <laughs> oh, come on. Another ambush? OK, so now lunch is ready. Uh, but mom, you almost had him. Oh, you'll get him next time. At least we can meet the grown-ups. We're the best! Thanks for letting them win. They had fun. Huh? Oh no, they had me flat beat. Hey, food's on the table. So, was your game fun? The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah, the bad guys, too. Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... Untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? Used to be a nomad, but the family fell apart. Years ago, feels like. Nothing's more important to me than my kids. I've made mistakes. Life's gone off the rails sometimes. But I had my kids. I got my kids. Speaking of, be great if Randy was here. Won't be long. Randy loves Jambalaya. Joss, you see me being a parent ever? I mean, I don't exactly look like good palm material myself, so... Yes! Who says yes? I do. <laughs> he raised his hand himself. <laughs> v, are you seeing someone? Involved? Fess up, please. Um, well, that's decided. Got an 11.99. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew, situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. You're just getting out of doing the dishes. Admit it. Also true. Which gives us two reasons to go. For what? Having a drink? Shooting the shit. This way. I... Oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. One of these days, 
Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. Yeah, okay, good. Just push. Ugh. Okay. On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. Know a worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. Apparently the worst city ah, between the shit. Atlantic and the Pacific. I sure do love this view. Find it calming. Yeah, I like where we are now. Right here. Outside looking in. Away from all the urban chaos. It reminds me a bit of home. Got something for you. <laughs> Your piece? Had her a long time. Too long. I think it's time she found a new owner. To know what to say. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. This very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. Now for the highlight of the evening. Up for a drink? Something strong is sure to hit the spot. Now that I understand. To friendship. To friendship. You got any more of that? Two bottles of whiskey and a case of beer ought to be enough. <laughs> we'll see about that. Buckle your liver in. Gonna be a long night and a longer morning. <laughs> in the moon and there's still no cure for hangovers well at least we had fun yesterday yeah um, but now I gotta roll promised Joss I'd take her to see Randy no rush either get your sea legs back take as much time as you need apologize to Joss for me we kind of dined and dashed yesterday and left puke all over the bathroom Oh shit. 
sure you're good to drive? <sighs> Please. Former NCPD? <clears throat> I'm a pro on Hangover Highway. I'll be fine. Tell Randy, hey. Will do. See you later, V.